All right, it's time for our daily arts and culture segment, and we have our Iteho who joins me live in the studio. And I hear he has news on a new exhibition in town. Good afternoon to you, Teho. Good afternoon. So uh, we have the works of a world-renowned photographer currently on display right here in Seoul. That's right, Kanyo. And with photography being so popular around the world, and of course here in Seoul, this is the perfect time for this uh, exhibition by one of the most celebrated photographers of our generation. Right, and it's not just uh, with high-priced DSLR cameras or whatnot. Um, you know, a lot of my friends from overseas are just blown away at how much Koreans love to take photos, snap photos with their smartphones or whatnot. Uh, and you know, I'm guilty of this as well. I have an assortment of selfies and a buffet of food shots in my phone gallery, uh, but that's the reason why this is so relevant. Uh, the exhibition uh, kind of shows uh, amateurs like me or aspiring professionals an inspiration to what real photography as an art form can be. Fashion photographer Mario Testino is one of the most sought after photographers of our generation. His shots have been featured in high-end fashion magazines such as Vogue, Vanity Fair and V. And his works with major fashion companies like Gucci, Burberry, Versace, Salvatore Ferragamo, and Michael Kors have contributed to the images of these major fashion powerhouses. However, Testino's work does not end there. Boasting a career that spans 30 years, his pieces have been featured all around the world. His 2002 exhibition Portraits at the National Portrait Gallery in London remains the gallery's second most successful exhibit to date. And for 10 years, it held the record for the highest attendance of any exhibition at the venue. In addition to London, his works have been featured in Milan, Amsterdam, Edinburgh, Tokyo, Mexico City, Boston, and finally now, Seoul, with his exhibition Private View at the Seoul Art Center. I'm here at the Mario Testino photo exhibition currently being held in Seoul. What is so special about his photography that caught the attention of personalities such as Lady Gaga, Madonna, even the late Princess Diana of Wales? Wandering the halls of the exhibition, it was easy to see why he is one of the most successful photographers in the world. His list of private clientele includes some of the most famous celebrities in the world. From actresses Gwyneth Paltrow, Julia Roberts and Cameron Diaz, to models Giselle Bundchen, Kate Moss and Claudia Schiffer, and performers like Madonna, Lady Gaga and of course the royal family of Britain, which are considered some of his most famous shots. And these are just a few of the many celebrities who have had the chance to work with the famed photographer. But as I found out, this exhibition was not just about the glitzy shots taken on set. I learned that each and every photograph that is featured has a story to it. And the best way to enjoy the private view? At this exhibition, the private view, the point is to understand the relationship between the photographer and the model. If viewers know the story behind the top models, celebrities and the royal family, we can view the photos from a new perspective that we might not have seen before. It describes the relationship with Mario Testino and the effort he puts into his works. The rare glimpses of celebrities and the royal family of Britain in a more casual atmosphere were the highlights of the show for me as well. And knowing the story of each photo, conveniently provided in the program, adds to the experience. These photos allow the viewer to catch a glimpse of celebrities in a more relaxed and natural surrounding, which is made possible because of the relationship that exists between Testino and the celebrities. The Mario Testino photo exhibition Private View runs until the end of the month at the Seoul Arts Center. You know, I think Mario Testino's uh, photos uh, really accentuate the models um, in his photographs, but not only that, it looks like as if, um, th maybe it's the lighting, I don't know, but it, it seems as though it's glowing from well, somewhere. It, it certainly is the lighting. Uh, there was actually over 100,000 US dollars that was spent in lighting alone so that viewers can so uh, focus solely on the photographs themselves. Right, and uh, it sure does look like there was a lot of efforts put into this exhibition for um, his debut here in Seoul, right? There certainly was. When Mario Testino himself was here for the opening, uh, the curators were telling me that he, his attention to detail was amazing. He organized everything from the entrance itself to where every photograph was to be placed for the best lighting and for the best viewing purposes. Right, so that um, Soul Lights would be able to, uh, I guess, catch the best of his works in the best way possible. Exactly. Yeah. All right, Teho, thank you so much for that, and uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow. All right.